hi there and welcome back on today's video we are going to look at integrating cos of x now we are going to do this analytically and also using trapezoidal method also the simpson method now let's start so to start we are going to do it analytically and we are going to integrate manually so the integral of cos of x it's sine of x we are told to integrate between 1 and minus 1 so we are going to say sine of 1 subtracting the sine of minus 1 you can either punch this onto your calculator ensure that your calculator is in radian mode or you can use octave and you should get your answer in 1.6829 now the next step is to integrate this using the trapezoidal method starting with the loop statement we are going to say tick this will initialize our wall clock timer we are going to say n is equals to 10 the number of points we are going to define our x-axis we are going to say from minus 1 to 1 with the spacing of n which is 10 points compute the trapezoidal method onto octave and talk to stop the wall clock timer don't forget to add the semicolons to omit anything you don't want to appear double check and check for any spelling errors if you're happy you can run your file and you should obtain your integral which is your answer since we included tick and tuck onto our loop statement we should also observe the elapsed time next up it's using the vectorizing method now for the vectorizing method compute the vectorizing method onto octave don't forget to include the tick and the tuck so that we can also observe the elapsed time run your file you should obtain your answer which is your integral and also the elapsed time lastly for trapezoidal method we are going to do the built-in function which is the traps now your function must be in the form of anonymous so don't forget to put the at sign there define your x-axis now you can write down the traps which is t is equals to traps x y of x run your file and you should obtain your answer now i also added the analytical method onto my ATA sheet there with the tiktok function so that we can observe both analytically and also trapezoidal method and see the difference next up let's do the simpson method now for simpson method i didn't get too much into detail if you feel like you want a more explained video i have one for you i'll make sure it's linked at the end of this video now for this function we are going to compute the loop statement for simpson method and after computing everything ensure there's no spelling errors then you have to go and call for your function on your command windows so you're going to run your file and then go to your command windows write down the equation and call the integral for the simpson method and you should obtain your answer let's also include the quadrant formula there we are going to define our function and make it anonymous which is y is equals to at cos of x write the quadrature method there i'll say let's make it q so q is equals to quad v that's for simpson run your function there and you should obtain your answer you can compare all your answers you can also include the tiktok to also compare the elapsed time run all your files compare your answers you'll observe that there's different answers according to each integral method that you use over there either simpson or trapezoid or analytical i really hope this makes sense it is a very um, straightforward but fun example to solve thank you so much for watching